Hello and welcome to this section of the course. Um, this section will be offered as a bonus and um, the reason why I wanted to include this section is because uh, this is pretty much something your instructors will probably not tell you exists. Or maybe you already know it exists. Either way, um, it is a very good resource and I hope that you take advantage of it for a very small investment, of course. Now, when you write your paper, a lot of professors, if not all of them at this time, use a software called uh, Turnitin. And Turnitin is going to basically check your paper for plagiarism, it's going to match similarities um, with your paper and other papers that exist, and it's also going to check for any grammatical errors that may show up um, and, and provide these marks and scores that you see here. That helps your professor in grading your paper. For example, if there's a very high similarity, um, maybe 75% or more, that means, uh, we can ignore that, sorry about that, uh, if you have a, a high similarity of 75% or more, that basically means that your paper is plagiarized and of course there's some type of action that will be taken against you. Either you're going to be uh, kicked out of your program or you're going to be given some type of probation or, or serious warning for uh, providing a paper that was plagiarized. Now the grammar, I know a lot of students say, well this is a psychology course. Uh, why am I being marked down for grammatical errors. Well, if your grammar looks like this figure right here, uh, you have a serious problem uh, because 82% of your paper has grammatical errors, whether you're missing commas or semicolons or you have prepositions or whatever it is in the wrong place, uh, things need to be fixed. So it's good for you to read your paper and make sure that you fix all grammatical errors. Now the reason why I'm mentioning this again is because a lot of professors won't tell you, hey, I'm using Turnitin um, to check your paper. And I don't know why this keeps coming up, but I'm going to click on that and hopefully it'll, it'll stay away. Um, and I do apologize. Let's see. Here we go. So what your professor is going to see is it's going to see a similarity. And as it says here, this is the percentage of the text in your paper that match sources in our database. Turnitin also has a sister program called WriteCheck. Now WriteCheck is basically the same thing as Turnitin, except WriteCheck is for students. Turnitin is used by professors. So what I would like for you to consider is you should go to writecheck.com and create a login. And once you're logged in, once you create some type of registration and you're able to log in, you can then submit your document. You can upload. Now, let me go back some. Before you can upload any document, you'd have to purchase credits in order to do so. So you can do a one-time purchase for $7.95 or you can do a semester plan which I would recommend for $19.95 or you can do the graduate plan and so forth and so forth. Now let me see if I can go back. Once you're able to upload your document and it takes less than five minutes you'll be able to then view your results. Once you view your results, it'll tell you basically what your marks are. For this example, there's a 2% similarity index and my marks shows 22 uh, grammatical errors. Now let me point something out here because this is one that I actually fixed. before my marks looked a, a whole lot more like a 6% similarity index. Actually no, it started at 10% and then I got it down to 6 and then later down to 2. 
and then this number here was a 96 I said okay well I need to look in to see how to um, address these numbers right here so the numbers that you see uh, right here the similarity index is saying not so much that your paper is plagiarized but we have so many matches about six percent of your paper or in this case two percent of your paper has uh, verbatim word for word matches now what I did was when it was at ten percent I went through each one and it's gonna tell you where it is it's gonna highlight it in orange so for example this one here I left it alone because there was no way for me to change this around even if I had just written DSM the letters and still put that in parentheses it was still picking it, picking it up so you're gonna have some similarities because of course you're, you're using citations um, but if you can avoid it and rewrite the way that you do things um, you'd want to go ahead and, and do so to reduce that number the smaller the similarity index the better it is uh, your grade will be as long as of course you, you know you're writing something that is making a lot of sense now the ETS marks that you see here that's 22 again that was 96 all of these that's in purple it's going to tell you what your marks are now some of them may not make sense you might get uh, marked down for example for grammar on the word keywords it's telling me here that keywords is spelled incorrectly however if you look online or any other uh, source keywords is spelled just the way I have it and there's really no other way to put it on this document so this was left alone and of course it counts towards a mark now while it is you might want to have zeros here fact of the matter is what professors are looking for is that the similarity index and the ETS marks are in a low uh, end as opposed to being around 90 some odd for the marks and you know 75 one up or whatever it is or actually more than that above 30 percent for the similarity index so my advice try to stay below 30 percent on the similarities and um, of course you'd want to stay below 30 on on the marks so this is why I wanted to show this to you here because um, it's a great resource for students you can come in and you can check to see ahead of time what it is need to be fixed this way when it is your professor runs your paper in through um, turn it in they're gonna basically get the same numbers because this is running on the same platform so they'll be much more pleased to see that you have a 2% index instead of a 30% similarity index or anything higher than that and if you have knowledge of what your similarity index is and what your grammatical errors are you can of course address it and fix it and that means fixing it on your computer and then you can upload it again and then recheck it until you're satisfied with where it is so um, again this was just a bonus the website is writecheck.com and I should add that I am not affiliated with writecheck.com um, in any way um, they're not paying me to uh, give this information at all so I just wanted to add it as an extra resource which is why it's available for free in this class well thank you so much and I look forward to answering any of your questions